Okay, Ooh. so where do you want to sit? We've got Come Shop, on. we've got Damien and Liam, we got, I forget his name, and Miranda, we've got Polly and Vera, and we've Bobby. got the Slayer. I think with Polly and Vera would be the best one in this case. You take your seat. Oh, no, this is yours. Yep, you take your seat, and if you didn't know any better, you would say that it seems like Vera and Polly are almost more interested in their phones than they are in you. And you do know better, and you know that, yes, that is exactly what's happening right now. Hey there. It's nothing personal, Vicky. It's just that Polly and I are very engrossed in texting our financial slave. Yeah, it's pretty hard to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you every anything you want. That's my fetish, too. Okay. I don't think you know what a fetish is, Polly. I don't think so, too. Okay. Not buying things for people? Having people buy things for me. Duh. I think that means you're a gold digger. Yes. And a sugar baby. Especially the second. The thing he's rich enough to take care of both of us. You know what they say? <laughs> Friendship is sharing secrets and financial secrets. Still, I do worry that this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops. Besides, being handed everything we want- uh, being handed everything we want on a platter? In this case, the platter being an online money transferring platform. It's almost boring? Yeah, plus I thought you were wealthy. On your own. Yeah, I get that. It's a little less boring when you're on as much asset as I am right now, but I see what you mean. <laughs> Okay. If we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it could get interesting, and we could t continue to profit. Even after he's gone broken. Uh, let me see. Sorry. Uh, he's gone broke from catering to our every win. I put something in it, that's small. <laughs> I mean, how interesting do you think business actually is? Since he's so obsessed with us, we should just tell him to do something totally insane and see if he does it. I don't know. A weirdo giving away his money and getting into hijinks is great and all, but I want to start making real money. I think money is fine and all, but my favorite currency is chaos. <laughs> hmm, it seems like the ladies are at a very exciting crossroads. Maybe a random bystander can give them a nudge in the right direction. Uh, you can easily grow this arrangement into a business. Just escalate and delegate. Have the financial slave go and acquire his own financial slave to give him money, and have that financial slave go and find a financial slave, or tell him to marry Alana! I think it's gonna be the second one, because we're going for Polly this time. I do like both these girls quite a bit. They're both very cutely designed. Oh my god, yes! That is everything to me. I actually had a dream just like that one time. Or maybe it was an acid trip, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't a llama, it was an alpaca. Who even knows the difference? Uh, I can tell if you gave me two pictures. They're, they're slightly different. It's different enough. <laughs> Good luck finding one of those. Catch you weirdos later. I'm texting the financial slave right now, telling him to marry Alana. Oh, he's typing already. He's already typing. Let's see. <laughs> Vicky, you will never believe this. It turns out the financial slave has been talking to Alana for a few months now through Llama Monster dating site. He says he's a committophobe and never really defined the terms of his relationship with Alana. And he's just introducing Alana as a friend. But he knows it's. Oh gosh. He knows now it's because he was just scared of being hurt. <laughs> This is a sure sign that it's time to be brave and commit. Now they're heading to the city, to city hall for the ceremony right now. Of course he says. I'll have to take his leave of our, uh, take his leave of our group chat since his right and his wallet now belong to another. Specifically, Alana. <laughs> Aw, is that the sweetest love story you've ever heard? I'm so <laughs> glad we got to make it happen. Together. That is the sweetest love story you've ever heard. Or something. <laughs> but hey, maybe you and Polly will end up having a love story of your own. All right. Okay. Okay, Liam. Give me the goods. <laughs> you find Damien brandishing his usual silverware, a hammer and chisel, while Liam looks on in horror. You can't eat that. Watch me. First of all, it's like one rock seamless rocks? piece of obsidian. <laughs> so it's low calorie. And second of all, it's a lich's phylactery. Part of this balanced breakfast. It's a lunch. Oh. You're just jealous. No, I'm nervous. Nervous that you're gonna eat that gets by a lich and kill us all. Well, I'm nervous that's n that that's not going to happen. Oh my gosh. I'm a psychopath. Yep. Looks like these two are on an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute and score some romantic crowd at the same time. <laughs> Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. Uh. Damien, don't eat it. You won't have room for all these baby seals I brought you. The lunch questions are always easy. It's, it's obvious which one you want if you're going for different answers. This one feels a little less obvious. Does it? Slightly. 
What do you think? If you want Liam, do the top one. That's what I was thinking. Because it's a diversion. Baby seals, yeah. give them to me! I can already taste the cruelty. Oz, you scoundrel! How can you substitute wanting responsibility for animal cruelty? He quietly explained to Liam that the baby seals you're feeding to Damien aren't really baby seals. Hey, these are just seal-shaped bee babies stuffed with tofu and pig's blood! Oh my gosh. Good thing you always keep a sack of baby seal decoys in case of killer whale attack. <laughs> okay. Now apply your craftiness and a high regard for animal life. Let's go return this Except for and marry the Lucius Crypt together. <laughs> it ends up being the third most romantic night you've ever spent in the crypt. Score! Okay. Let's trade places. Okay, everybody chooses something cool, so your choice outlined to the rest of the players before clear. Ah, uh, dragons. Uh... I'm not. You, you go first next. <laughs> I, I, oh my... Uh... You can't even come up with something that you find cool? Claymore swords. We'll go with that. Sure. Yeah, that works. Play your orders in space on how weird it would be to find this other thing as the prize in a happy meal. Dragons aren't real, so you win. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like Oz. He's so cute. Yeah, he's cool. I'm gonna go... One. Let's see, I'm basing on Liam, so I think I'm gonna keep going for creativity. Is he not the smartest one? Oh, that's a good point. I'll go smart side. That's wrong. That day you listen to your elders learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense in the dating game, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You didn't plus two smarts. Later, you see Liam scrolling through his phone, looking like the embodiment of ennui. Oh boy, that's hey, a big Oz, word. Hey, what are you doing? Stalking classmates for romantic purposes and offering rather absurd advice? <laughs> Magnificent! I could use some rather absurd advice. I was exchanging messages awesome. with a wear koala on this dating site, and all was going well for a time. But I've grown tired of our exchanges. He's a bit clingy, and being clingy is my seventh biggest turnoff. Oh my gosh. Right between sarcasm and literacy and actually being a pickle and not a person. I agree. Make a person a protocol just takes me to just ghost him and never talk to him again, but that's horrible, and I would never do that to someone. You see, I'm Liam, handsome and mysterious, yet a true gentleman. But, but, neither do I want the emotional turmoil of telling him how I really feel and having an actual conversation about it. What an ordeal. So I've still done just sending him a bunch of emojis and never tasting it again. That should do, right? The thing is, how can I convey this complex array of sentiments through the friendly language of emojis? This is your time to shine. Show Liam your cell at complex sentiments so he might someday feel like sharing them with you. Maybe croissant, school bus, shooting star, trumpet, and crocodile. This one, little vampire growing disinterested and overly attached weird koala emoji. Um... I think this actually answers this question better. Okay. I mean, that, that is... <gasps> uh... What? Are you implying that I'm a cold school bus that's abandoning its poor croissant? That's your opinion of me? So you think I should be hit by shooting star for being vocal, like a trumpet, I thought I'd be sentenced to him. Aren't I about to feel to show my feelings? It's not what I meant! Don't get me started on the crocodile. I have no idea you have such opinions of me. It hurts my delicate soul. Okay. Can you have told me this in a friendlier way? Your emojis, maybe? That's what I did. Okay. Bye. No! You just selected five random emojis! Damn, what was your <laughs> Oh no. Oh, fucking damn it! Your turn. Okay. You can't go to class because I'm there. I see. Okay. This is why turn order matters. Yes, that makes sense. What was the boldness one? Is that the field? I think that is the field. The field? The, the football field on the right. Oh, that's not a place. Never mind. Oh, sorry. I was just looking at the map, not at the... Uh, you should, because these are all the locations. Not the signs. That makes sense. Uh, what even is boldness, if anything? I think that's the bathrooms. Both the bathroom, yeah. Some of that money. Hey, why would oh, you just think prepare for your future when you can come here and buy some weird shit instead, am I right? Let's see. Event. A blanket with two holes. Let me just try a blanket with two eye holes in it. You have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume, but most of our classmates are idiots. Okay. Yes. An erratic fan think about dragons. Dragon heat. A classic. It's so cheesy and stupid that you just can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but now I'm super into dragon knives. Okay, everybody's gotta convert sometime. <laughs> A corpse, yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It is not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. I feel like we've got to buy the dragon book. Well, it's you buying the dragon book now. Yeah, let's go for it. Thanks. Oh, I think better than the smell of money. Well, actually, there are many better smells, but you know what I mean, right? I don't know what that did for me, but I needed it probably. Everything happened. Something happened to you. Vicky. Oh. Let's go. Okay. Polish Garbs, Catacomb Coffee, okay. The Slice, 8 Ball Comics, 24 Hour Fitness. Because of course that still has to exist. One of these things is not like the other. No, it's just as ghoulish as the others. <laughs> well, it's your event, you gotta read. Oh, okay. You were grooming yourself in your bathroom when suddenly Liam reveals himself in your shower. It sounds like he's the one making the move here. It's my shower, it's my bathroom. How long has he been there? Don't, bath don't vampires need to be invited into houses or something? So many questions. What voice did you do for him? Or did you do one? I don't even remember. I only did one half the time. Ah, I tried to just do a hipster voice. Ah, Vicky, I noticed you in class with uh, the other day, admiring my collection of slightly used vintage bottle caps, sex toys. Oh. Oh. Is, is that what those were? <laughs> like, admiring was a strong word before, but now. I'm sure you've noticed that I have many strange and amazing hobbies that the average civilian could never have. Oh, 
actually lack of creative talent. But he's all yours. <laughs> Trading fine insect legs. Bottling peak toxic waste and turning it into fine lines. Generally being part of DIM culture. Do it myself, obviously. <laughs> Truly, one of the greatest greatest joys of embarking on a great romance is getting to share your obscure hobbies with one another. Well, he's not talking about that part. Yeah, that's true. But I've been able to share my secret hobbies with you, and it's, that's true. it's been great. Yeah. He's a nutcase, though. <laughs> oh, he is a nutcase. I also like that we can see his bite marks. Yeah, that is that is actually a really nice detail. I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. Oh, yeah, no, I noticed it the first go around. We'll have to use that in our special project. We'll figure out something fun. Yes. I've been giving some thought on the back of I've been giving some thought on the back of one such great romance with ours. Aww. But tell me, what are his hobbies? Will he have some great knowledge to share with me? I'll go with the first one. <laughs> yep. Yay! Wait, I just got hearts with you. No, I think he got hearts with me. Oh, maybe. Okay. That, that would make more sense. Okay. Every other time it's been us getting hearts with the character who appears. I don't know, man. This is different. It is different, for sure. It's all aquatics. Why, I read that every month. Or I read that every month. I got my prized turquoise tang, Trixie. Your tunnel maze based on those teachings. I had no idea that, that it was Oz who was responsible for that. Truly, I cannot wait to hear more about his exotic aquatic prowess. Perhaps at prom? Man, you should hope that Oz actually knows shit about fish. You say so many ridiculous things a day that you cannot, for the life of you, keep track of which are true and which are lies. That's fair. <laughs> that is this game in a nutshell. Yes. You'll be keeping your fingers crossed and fingers and fins crossed for him. Meanwhile, you gain plus three creativity. Cool. Straight places. Everybody choose their name. We'll say your choice out loud for the rest of the playlist before clicking. Talk. Talk to us. Play your order decided based on how cute a video where a charming cat becomes friends with a selected animal would be. Cats become friends with cats all the time. You did get that one. That would be really cute. A cat becoming friends with a platypus. Yeah. 